guys, this video will show you how to connect Yastar P Series PBS and Yastar TAFXO gateway. After watching this video, you can use P Series PBS extensions to make outgoing calls through the Yastar TAFXO gateway and receive inbound calls from the Yastar FXO gateway to the P-Series PBS extensions. Now, let me show you how to config. First, look into the P-Series web interface. Navigate extension and chunk. Select chunk. Click on add. And config the chunk basic settings. Set the chunk name. Enable the chunk status. Select ITSP template with general. Set the chunk type with pure chunk. Set the transport with UDP. Then set the host name and IP and domain with the TAFXO gateways IP address. and set the port with the TAFXO gateways UDP port. Then click on Save and Apply. And wait for a few seconds, then check the chunk status on the chunk page. If the status shows reachable, which means YesStar PCRS PBS is connected to the YesStar FXO gateway. Then look into the Gateways web interface. Navigate Gateway, find the VoIP settings, and select VoIP chunk. Click on Add New Chunk. Set the chunk type with Service Provider, type with SIP, and set the chunk name. Set the host name and IP with the PCRS PBS IP address. Set the port with the PCRS PBS UDP port. Then click Save and apply changes. And wait for a few seconds, then check the chunk status on the status, chunk and port status. If the status shows OK, which means the YesStar FXO gateway is connected to the YesStar PCRS PBS. Next step, let's config an outbound route. Then, you can use PCRS PBS extension to make an outgoing call through the YearStar TA FXO gateway. First, create an outbound route on YearStar PCRS PBS to allow extensions to reach the YearStar TA FXO gateway. Navigate call control. Find outbound route. Click on Add, configure the name, set the dial patterns according to your needs. In this example, set pattern to 9 dot strip 1. Then select the trunk. and select the extensions. Click Save and Apply.
second, create an IP to port root on e s t a r f x o gateway. Navigate gateway. Find root settings. Select IP to port. Click add. Set the simple mode to yes. And set the name. Select core source. And uh, set the core destination. Click save and apply. Then you can make a test call from PCRS PBS extension. In this example, when you dial 915-88-035242 from extension 2000, it will call your mobile phone number 15 Second part, config the inbound route. Then you can receive inbound calls from FXO Gateway to PCRS PBS extension. First, create an inbound route on YesStar PCRS PBS to accept incoming calls from YesStar FXO Gateway. Navigate Call Control, select Inbound Route, click Add. Convey the name. Set the DID matching mode with DID pattern. And add the pattern. This DID number will be used to match the incoming calls from the FXO gateway. In this example, enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Please remember this number. It will also be used in the FXO gateway. Then select the trunk and set the destination. Then click Save and Apply. Second, Create a port to IP root on YesStar FXO gateway to root incoming calls to YesStar PCRS PBS. Navigate gateway, find root settings, and select port to IP. Click Add. Set the simple mode to Yes, and name the root. Set the core source and uh, set the core destination with the peer trunk to PCRS PBS. Enter the DID that is set on the inbound root of ESDA PCRS PBS. And this example is 123456. Then click Save and apply changes. Then you can make a test call to one of extended FXO chunks. For example, the extended FXO chunks number is 50552530125301. You can dial this number on your mobile phone. Then the call will be routed to the YESDA PCRS PBS extension 2000. Alright guys, this is what we have in this video.